What goes around comes around. In the skies around the world, propeller-driven aircraft are making a comeback. Why? Because they drink less fuel and they're significantly cheaper to run and maintain. And what about the environment? Well, these propeller-driven aircraft are much quieter than regional jets, both inside and outside. Aircraft like the ATR-72-600 burn 50% less fuel. That means 50% less carbon emissions pumped into the atmosphere. Test pilot Eric de la Salle is carrying out an acceptance flight before handing this turboprop over to its new buyers from the Brazilian airline Azul. He says prop planes are safer than jet aircraft. We don't need uh, hydraulic, uh, hydraulic boost and it's uh, much uh, important, it's very important for uh, safety because we can lose all the hydraulic of the airport and we can still uh, fly it uh, without any change. For the makers, ATR, based in Toulouse, this is a rare European business success story. Jointly owned by a French and an Italian company, it notched up record sales last year, selling 157 turboprop aircraft to 18 different airlines around the world. Aviation analysts say it's all about the cost of fuel. With the turboprop burning around half the fuel that a jet burns, the economics of a turboprop have come much more into fashion, so uh, airlines have gone back onto turboprops again. Each of these aircraft costs $23 million and takes a year to make. The final 10 weeks are spent on the production line. Reducing the engine noise in the fuselage was a key selling point. The big step uh, uh, was the changing of the uh, number of uh, blades in the propellers. The, the first model was uh, equipped with the four blade uh, propellers. Now uh, we have six blades. The shape of the blades has been uh, well studied in order to reduce the noise. So get used to propellers. Analysts predict that in the future, regional jetliners will begin to be phased out and replaced by turboprops as world oil prices continue to rise. Peter Sharp, Al Jazeera, Toulouse.